Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Seth the Outdoor Power Bed here. Hey, I'm gonna show you today. We are working on a brand new Turf Tiger 2 with the Kubota 25 horse diesel engine. I got it pulled up on the lift here because I wanted to show you guys the lift too, how we use it. Um, I talked about it a little bit in a previous video. Now I want to show you this beast of a lawnmower. 61 inch deck, Turf Tiger 2. It's brand new Kubota diesel. As you can see, we're installing a three bag bagging system on it. These come standard with the big Carlisle multi-track. It's a 26, 12, 12 tire. We got the striping kit on here. I'll show you that when I bring the lift up. Skags, big Velocity Plus deck, half inch thick at the cast iron spindles. Ah, let's raise this thing up. This is a lift I was showing before in a previous video how we modified it to work on these mowers. I'm going to show you a, a couple things you need to know when putting these baggers on. We're also installing a uh, de-thatcher on the front. That's why those uh, weird brackets are sticking out on there. So Turf Tiger 2 diesel, like I said, 25 horse Kubota, liquid cooled diesel motor. 16 cc pumps it's a 12 mile an hour lawnmower shaft driven deck on the turf tigers that's that's what the big advantage is so turf tiger has the fuel tank is underneath the seat so it lowers your center of gravity so best mower to go on hills with all right now we got it up in there now you can see you can see the the shaft here for the shaft driven deck there's a gearbox right up in here that runs your mower deck there are belts still on this they're underneath up in here one runs your hydro pumps one runs the shaft all right well, since we're back here we'll start with the striper kit striper kit just mounts on real easy right back here some u-bolts this is spring loaded You can put it in transport mode, a little pin right here, you pop that out and you can raise it up so it's in transport mode. Um, and then you just drop, push on it, pull the pin out, drop it back down and you are striping. All right, well this is what the underside of a lawnmower. This is a Velocity Plus deck, like I said. Here's what makes a skag deck a skag deck. This right here. This is your adjustable baffle. These are the settings you can use to raise and lower your baffle. All right, so when you have the bagger on, this is another baffle that got added on to divert all the grass to go up into this bagger. Another baffle here for the bagger. Get everything sucked in there. All right, so when you're bagging, you want to, you gotta get this baffle down because the baffle that it comes with for the bagger is deeper than where this is in the standard setting. All right, so we lower that down to match that. If you get in to a situation where you're getting a lot of blowout out of the front of the deck uh, when you're bagging or just mowing in general, especially, it's weird to say this, but when you get into a lot of debris, a lot of leaves in the fall, or when you're dethatching in the spring, lower this baffle down even more to stop that blowout, and it'll also give you more sec suction, keep this stuff up going into the mower deck. All right, Velocity Plus deck, cast iron spindles. We got big 12-inch rollers on here on the mower deck. Got the Marbane steel standard blades. You could switch to a mulch blade if you want to find grind the stuff up a little finer. All right, another cool thing on these Velocity Plus decks, this whole front part here is basically just a bumper. Your cutting deck is actually back in here. All right, scalp wheels up front. But yeah, that's what we use this big lift for. You got to adjust those baffles, taking blades off. I don't, a lot of you guys, if you're skag people, you know this, but if you're just looking in the skag, this is your spindle bolt. This bolt goes all the way up through there. It's 11 inches long. Because there's a nut on top. You want to change a skag blade, you take the nut off from the top, 
drop the whole blade down. You're not climbing underneath the deck, trying to get a, get a wrench on there, breaker bar, or anything like that. I'll show you some more video of the underside here. You can see the wheel motors right here. Got your hydro filters underneath here, drive shaft. There are grease cirques on these U-joints and on the spline. You can see the pumps back there with the big fans on them. Oil drain, obviously, for the diesel motor. You can see the disc brakes in there. Disc brake machine, got a foot pedal on it. That is, I'll lower it down here for you. And you can see, show you a little more about the bagger on here. Sorry for the delay here. All right, got the red fuel cap because it's a diesel. Everything else, the same, the platform exactly the same from the diesel to the gas. All right, so we pretty much have this bagger all installed. Like I said, this is the uh, three bag fabric system. They do also offer a clamshell. I'll, I'll make another video on a clamshell. But so you got to locate pin that sticks out the side here that we installed and then locate pins right here. So you basically, you set this, this part right here, set it up on this pin, then you can lift it up, slide it into place onto the locates. Um, this tips up, your bags just lift out of here. Yep, just like that. And you can dump them. All right, fabric bags. And then you're gonna, we gotta put the, the big tube on here so the tube's gonna come down go into the blower you can oh, you can pull this off for you you can see the big fan inside of here all right that fan is all um laser measured to make sure it's balanced all hangs on the side of the deck so it's kind of you pull this pin out whole blower lifts off there there's a bat there's a belt in there Like I said, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll continue to keep making making videos. So um, here is the dethatcher that is going to get installed on the front, 60 inches wide. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the Turf Tiger. Thanks. Subscribe to my videos. More to come.